Hey, what's up, fellas? That's uh, still the uh, 1st of October. I just uh, printed my... Let me set you down. I just printed out my local election ballot form for... Uh, actually, I saved it to my email. My uh, local election ballot form. And when I went through it, I was shocked at the taxes that are added <clears throat> into this ballot that we get to bet... Uh, vote on. I'm going to try not to be too upset. There's over a half, over a half a billion dollars in new taxes on this on this ballot. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. I'll show them to you. I'll show you the propositions. And if you add them up, it's well over 500 million what's more like 800 million dollars in taxes which are proposed as bonds bonds are money that we vote on to tax ourselves on okay i'm going to turn the camera around and show you proposition a here in the city of el paso well Hopefully you can see that uh, special election city of El Paso, Texas, Proposition A, uh, to cancel the city's authority to issue the remaining $128,455,636 in general obligation bonds for multipurpose performing arts and entertainment facilities to be located in downtown El Paso which was approved by the voters in the city on November 6, 2012, resulting in the revocation of this bond. That's an old bond of almost $129 million that they're trying to sneak in. That's Proposition 1. Let me go down here. Let me see. Let me see. Because they hide them in here. They stick them in here. It's just, it's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I, I, and this is one of the reasons you got to vote. Promise me you'll vote. I don't care who you vote for, but promise me you'll just get out there and vote. Let me get down here. Da, 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 court law number three, court law number four. These are all judges, county attorney, uh, sheriff, county tax collector, constable, El Peso bond. Another bond. Uh, the issuance of bond in the amount to not exceed 96, 95, 95 million, six hundred and fifteen, six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, ninety-five million, six hundred. Okay, let's say $96,000,000 for the county's parks and recreational spaces. And the levy tax is sufficient to pay the principal of the interest on the bond. So it's well over $96 million. Jesus Christ. Proposition 2, the issuance of a bond in the amount not to exceed. Now, mind you, this is already after the 129 other um, million bonds. Another 20, $27 million for facilities for the county office medical examiner and to levy taxes sufficient to pay the principal of the interest on the bonds. That's voting for us to tax ourselves. Here's another one. Issuance of a bond in the amount not to exceed $63,285,000, which is basically for a new county courthouse, sub-courthouses, related ANSA, annexes, and the levy of taxes sufficiently to pay the principles and interest of the bonds. <laughs> I'm voting against all of this stupid shit. Here's another one. El Paso County bond, the issues of a bond in the amount not to exceed $105,485,000 for a city coliseum and adjacent facilities and the levy of taxes sufficient to pay the principal and the interest of bonds. So it's, you know it's going to be way over $105 million. Oh, the next proposition E, issuance of a bond not to exceed $32,710,000 for the county's animal shelter. 
and the levy tax is sufficient to pay the principal and interest on the bonds. And you know that's going to go over budget. They're always going over budget if it's a contract. And here's the whopper. Mind you, El Paso has the number one trauma, tier one trauma hospital in the entire area. And the, we have, in, uh, they come from Juarez here, they come from Mexico here, they come from Arizona and New Mexico to use the hospital here in El Paso. But that's not enough, they want a new, uh, okay, here, the issuance of 396 million 600,000 hospital district bonds for the purpose of providing funds for acquiring construction equipment renovating and or enlarging the district's hospital system expansive of a cancer treatment facilities which they already have improvements of the university medical center campus including the expansion of treatment facilities for burn victims which they already have construction and or improvements to a new clinical facility in central el paso which is a brand focused on older and ger geriatric care which they already have it's just absolutely unbelievable so that's about, and you know they're going to all overrun, and some of them will try to slip into double digits. Anyway, uh, I'm all wound up about this. Uh, I mean, and this is, El Paso is one of the most liberal cities next to Austin, and I believe it might be Houston or Dallas, in the, in the entire state. $400,000, $400 million for a new hospital instead of facility. There's that one. Uh, $33 million for a county animal shelter. And that's if it doesn't run over. You know, because the price just went up. You know, concrete just went up. And as soon as they approve this, everybody's going to raise their prices for goods and service. Well, we, we have to order more, and they're charging us more. So we have to charge you more. $106 million for Coliseum. You know that's going to run over. $64 million for a new courthouse and annexes that go around it. $27 million for facilities for the medical examiner. $96 million. You got to pay attention. This is the time of the year where they're going to. And I can't tell you how many different places I had to click to get my sample ballot. It's not just electing officials. They're sneaking in all the bonds so they can get them and their friends paid. This is out fucking rageous and why I think you should vote and pay attention. Basically, if you say yes to these bonds, you're saying, would you please tax us more? Get the fuck out of here. Like we're not already in a recession. I'm telling you, the, there's too many stupid people running our governments. There's too many people running our governments at every level every level and it's it's so corrupt just vote no vote no on all of it no maybe next time maybe next time this absolutely insanity now i will ask you to take a look at this you don't see anything to increase the pay of teachers you don't see anything in there to increase the pay of police officers or firefighters or first responders But they won't anyways. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourselves. Please pay attention. Promise me you'll go out and vote in person so they can't lose your mail-in ballot or change your mail-in ballot. Go vote in person on the day of the election. If anybody tells you they're going to fire you for that, you can sue the shit out of them. Promise me you'll go and vote. All right? Love you guys. Like a fart in a G-string. West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. I'm going to go do some push-ups. Bye-bye.